Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanna talk about this video that's going viral all over Instagram. A lot of y'all down in Louisiana, y'all been tagging me and DMing me, want me to talk about this situation. So I just been trying to gather as much info as I can right now. Information is still kind of scarce. But if you guys don't know, a video went viral earlier today of some young girl. Her name or the name on the account is Delicia. And you see this young girl, she has like bright red hair. And she's doing an Instagram live video. And during the video, a woman in the background who people are saying is her sister starts to scream and she's saying, get off of me. You can even hear her saying something about rape. Um, Then you hear a man and they're like going back and forth. And this girl's literally in the camera laughing, kikiing. I mean, this woman is like yelling and screaming sheer terror. And there's other people in the room too. And they're just ignoring this like this is normal, like it's no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all these video clips I managed to gather on social media. Go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Get I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't know who that is. Man, y'all hear shit. Let me see what's going on. I ain't even in there. I ain't even in there. Nigga scared to go in there. Who that is? That's too lit. My ground whooping her ass. Shit, no, that's a man up in there handling it. No, he ain't whooping her. No, you're not gonna tell me what you're gonna do me and all this and all that. And you in the wrong, dog. Nigga said that you're not even to come in here and talk about it. Hey, it's what? If she would have been staying low, quiet. What up, hello? What's up, cuz? What up, son? Man, you just gonna let your friend get raped like that? No. <laughs> you ain't got nothing to do with that, huh? She knows. Whoop her. Beat that little boy up. Get <laughs> Oh, you hit it? Man, see, get mad. Ma'am, did you see what happened to this child? <laughs> He's talking to you. He talking to you, ma'am. Uh-huh. He said, did you see what happened? You're going to jail. I would, I would, I would. All right, so you guys just heard that really disturbing video. And I think what's bothering me the most with this situation is that while that girl is screaming in the background in sheer terror... This chick that's doing the Instagram live is literally laughing. So much so that somebody calls in and says, is she getting raped? Like, that's just normal conversation. Like, this is just some normal ass shit. And she's laughing like, well, I, you know, I don't know. You know, like, this shit is just funny. And this is why I always tell young girls, you have to be very, very careful and very, very mindful who you consider a friend. Now, some people are saying that they're family members, they're sisters. I don't know. Because sometimes family will bring you down faster than damn strangers. You know, how can you sit there and laugh and hear all of that going on? Why would she not get up and check? What is more important? You know what I'm saying? Then helping somebody who's in the background screaming, help me, as opposed to sitting there on Instagram live, steadily just, you know, acting oblivious to everything happening in the background. I was more concerned and and worried than the woman who was there in the same household as all this fuckery that was going down. You know, this entire situation is crazy. Eventually the police came, but I don't know what's come of this case. But now the girl that's allegedly in that video screaming, she posted this. She sent somebody a text message and now she's saying that she wasn't raped, which to me just kind of seems kind of crazy because as you guys saw in that other video, the man came out the room, his pants look kind of disheveled, um, his zipper was down, but she's saying that she wasn't raped. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys this text message that somebody sent me on social media. Check this out. So in the text message, she says, he wasn't raping me. 
He was beating me and suffocating me. I thought I was finna die. I kept screaming for help, begging him to get off. All right, so you guys just heard what the young girl had to say. Now, the guy in that video, people have been tagging him on Instagram, sending him all types of threats. He's made his page um, private. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't know if he was 100% raping her or not. It sounded like she was saying rape. But what I do know is that this young girl was in that room with that man screaming for dear life, screaming for help. She sounded like she was being tortured in that damn room, okay? I don't care if he was raping her. I don't care if he was pistol whipping her. I don't care if he was smacking her on the ass with a belt, okay? As far as I'm concerned, this entire situation is just crazy. And I feel like at this point in time, because they know that this is getting social media traction, she's trying to protect that man and say that he didn't rape her. He was just beating her. I don't care what he was doing. He had no business putting his hands on her, suffocating her, none of that shit. And then for this redhead bitch with the bad dye job, for her to sit there and laugh and ignore that and think that it's normal and kiki, and even when the guy brought up rape, she thought that shit was funny. It just shows you how crazy some of these people are. To the fact that she's so desensitized by all the fuck we going on in that household, she seems to think that it's not only normal, but that it's funny. You know, so this entire video is really, really disturbing. I want to go ahead and talk about this since a lot of y'all were asking me to talk about it today. Again, like I always tell y'all, be mindful who your friends are because people can act like they're your friends in one instance, but then when you really need them, they're not there for you. You know what I mean? There's no reason for that young girl to have not went into that room to make sure it was okay, to make sure that the girl was safe. If anything, there were several people in that household all at once. Somebody should have caught the police on that man if he was wilding out and doing all the bullshit that I think he was doing in that room. Because let's not forget, he came out that room with his pants disheveled and his fly zipped down. To me, it sounded like he was raping that woman, but she's claiming that she wasn't raped. But I also feel like she may be trying to protect him. All right, you guys, so I want to do an update on the story. So after everything went viral on social media, a lot of people were contacting the papers. And one of the papers in Louisiana, WBRZ, they basically talked about this. Um, they also ended up contacting the police as well over the assault. So now the Baton Rouge police, they've now taken to their Facebook page. And this is what they're saying about the story. So Baton Rouge police are saying, today we had multiple inquiries concerning a social media post. The post suggests that a female teenager was being harmed. After further investigation, it is learned that the female was not harmed and the family members heard in the video were actually helping her. We appreciate the community's concern in reporting the incident. So this is what the police are saying. So of course, some on social media are saying that the police are covering up, you know, that that can't be the real case. You know, at the end of the day, I don't know what went on in that bedroom. I don't know if the girl was getting raped. I don't know if she was getting beaten. And I'm not going to go ahead and just throw out anything out there. But what I will say is this. I think it's very sad that we live in a day and age where somebody can be in a bedroom screaming. And I don't know if she's bipolar, schizophrenic, or she's going through an episode. And they're screaming in sheer terror. And the girl is so desensitized and so intrigued with Instagram Live. That, you know, she just doesn't bat an eyelash. I think to me that's probably more disturbing than even what was going on in the background. The fact that people were so calm and they were just used to this. You know, this video, this viral video made for a perfect storm. But if the police are saying that they investigated, we saw the police go into the house because the Shade Room did post that video. If they're saying that they went and they investigated and nothing happened, and the girl's also posting on social media saying that she wasn't, you know, raped, but that she was being choked, and um, I, I would think that that's a crime, you know, him trying to suffocate her. You know, I don't know the back end of the story, but again, again, I want you guys, especially you young ladies, to realize that once again, you have to know the people that you move with. You have to know your inner circle. You have to know if the people that you're breaking bread with, that you're running the streets with, really have your back. Because I don't know what was going on in that room, but for that girl to be laughing and joking, and even when somebody brought up rape, she thought it was funny. So that lets me know she does not give a damn about the girl or her best interest or what was going on with that young woman in that bedroom. And that's what you guys need to be really mindful of. So once again, tea sippers, be mindful, be vigilant, and stay safe. This situation to me was just crazy. But if the police are saying that nothing happened and no arrest will be made, there's nothing I can do. I don't work in law enforcement. I'm just a damn YouTuber sipping tea, okay? 
So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation coming from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, as more information comes out about this case, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. But this is the information I have so far on social media. So go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.